Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Panzer General 2. In the last episode, UK had its trial by fire so to speak at Khan, but was able to force its way toward its last objective at Villers Vukaj and was able to achieve a brilliant victory but lost a lot of fireflies and its armaments in the process. But now we are back to the United States, I guess what I would describe as a pristine army of not having lost, well only having lost or infantry didn't lose anything in terms of armor, having suffered no damage so far, even at Khan, tough not to crack, so to speak. So I would term this army as being pristine. And now we are in the northeastern France in the Lorraine region. Operation Cobra had gone well, apparently, with its police pocket trapping thousands of German troops and Patton's third army making its dash well chronicled and cited by US historians that confirms Patton as one of the most prolific and able generals in US history. But their advances were checked finally at the Meuse River in France because Eisenhower didn't have enough fuel to provide the third army so they could go over the rivers and of course the river Rhine enter into Germany proper. They were kind of checked and I think one of the last missions that they had undertook as part of the general push across France was this mission around Nancy. I think it's a pretty sizable city, you know, a village or town. After it was captured, it served as, uh, I think, one of the regional headquarters for the Third Army. So it was a pretty substantial, um, I guess, acquisition. Uh, yes, right now the US Army was tasked with I think it was 4th Armored Division in encircling Nancy after their first forays into crossing the river Moselle around the city had failed because of lack of uh, initiative on their part. But with the armored support and new plan in place, the plan being encircling the city from the north and the south with two groups headed by the armored column. Um, the north of which was headed by Combat Command A and the uh, south by Combat Command B. And then the most, I guess, renowned person that headed one of the battalions, 37th Armored Battalion in CCA, was one Creighton Abrams. And Abrams was a tank case and he commanded M4 Shermans into uh, quiet striking operations, capturing a lot of German prisoners in his dash toward Nancy. After the war, he got promoted ultimately to being a general in charge of the Vietnam War, a famous figure, and now the US main battle tank is named after him, Abrams Tank. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty important battle for the United States. I don't know if whether the UK was involved in any of this. I mean, you know, the UK will have to make do with what they have at Nancy as well, because I think the mission structure follows the same formula of at least providing the same map, but with different objectives. So that's that, and with the memories of the UK at Khan behind us, let's see if we can rekindle our um, continue each rather impressive record of not losing any armor or suffering any kind of serious defeat. Well, I mean, you know, the UK at Khan was, I don't say disastrous, but there was a particular turn where it basically turned everything into a, a war of attrition. And of course, the mistakes I made prior to that fateful turn really didn't help. I mean, you could see that I lost like three fireflies in one single turn. Enough of that, I probably mentioned more of that in the UK effort at Nancy. For now, let's just try to focus on the United States Army here. Right now, the prestige that they have gathered is rather impressive, sizable. I mean, they captured like six or I think nine objectives back at Khan, so I guess they have to come for something. Yeah, and then we still have only one leader though. Maybe I should designate this as the Creighton Abrams of our core entering into the region, but uh, his name is Abrams. Uh, no, not Abrams, sorry. His name is Washington. Yeah, it's Reconnaissance Movement guy. With aggressive maneuver, yeah, it's a pretty good combination, I would have to say. Especially the Bukach, Reconnaissance Movement did help in trying to uh, use the M4's ability to strike and then go and retreat back into safer rear guard. So for how M4 is being used, I found the reconnaissance movement to be pretty useful after a couple of missions with the guy. All right, so the thing is that for this mission, which is offensive mission, I think I need to bring in more tanks. I do have a pretty experienced M10, but 
I believe that I have received a newer, improved version of anti-tank or tank defense, so I need to look into that as well. Uh, and maybe I could upgrade all the tanks here first. Let's see. Yes, you can see we have really a lot of newly arrived models. Um, this one is for close combat with the uh, infantry, and this is for trying to tackle fortresses and defensive emplacements that are really tough to infiltrate. And this is the general evolution of the Sherman 4 tanks with its upgraded, I think, ground defense from the current version. Yes, as you can see, 12 to 15. And I think also increases in the armament. Yeah, by 3. So this is a pretty good upgrade to have. I do have misgivings about this being this particular model being only 12 prestige point more than the 76 here but then to upgrade it, it requires 180 so if I upgrade two of these guys I can afford one extra uh, 76 the new tank uh, it kind of feels a bit I guess I can upgrade these experienced tanks but then leave the rest to just you know M4A1s because I don't think it's really worth it to bring in um, upgraded versions where I can just bring a whole new unit you can just purchase a whole new unit for the price of upgrading two tanks so yeah I leave it at that so I just upgrade this leader tank which is of course very important for us and this experienced tank which might you know which might be promoted to another leader so I mean you can never know and to gain enough experience it has to be on the front lines so it requires every defensive advantage it has will uh, definitely help. M29, wow this one. There was a suggestion that I might sell this in order to gain a prestige for acquiring two more tanks. Maybe I could do that. But you know as I am likely to do in these kind of missions when I receive a prototype unit, I just like to give it a whirl like a you know new car or something that uh, new tank smell probably smells really bad. Uh, mixture of diesel and gasoline or something but yeah I mean I like to just give it a you know try and see and um, I think finally we are out of the Bokashi country so this guy will not be as bogged down uh, if it was at Khan where I received M29 maybe I think about actually replacing it because I don't think it would be any useful but yeah this is like a king tiger and the king tiger from my experience was not really that useful as a panther so but maybe I just give it a whirl and a try and then see um, how it performs because uh, M26 back at Khan, as you can see, only one mission uh, under the belt. But look at the damage it has brought upon the Germans. I mean, this was just in coordination with the Air Force, the bombers. It was able to just roll over everything. And I was so impressed by the M26's uh, place in the tank army. So I guess I just give M29 a try. Uh, and see if it can actually perform to the level that is expected of the M26. Yeah, very uh, fortunate that I received these tanks. Okay, so these guys will maybe just stay. Yeah, and then I bring in like two more tanks to supplement the tank battalion or, you know, tank division. And yes, for anti-tank, I only one anti-tank from the UK experience at Khan. I gained a bit of a experience with using anti-tanks, so I know what to expect from them. And apparently we have a better version now. 19 and 13, and 36. Oh, very impressive. I think this guy had like 90 mil gun, which is probably one of the heaviest guns that was put toward any kind of self-propelled chassis or platform. So very impressive unit. And yeah, it cost a pretty prestige too. Upgraded aspect includes initiative and of course the damage and a bit of a um, well I guess it does lose a lot in the fuel department of course it's understandable I mean it's probably carrying a whole lot of ammunition and of course the turret so yeah I upgraded I upgraded all right looks good as for artillery okay so It'd be nice if I can have uh, extra 8 inch and of course one more self-propelled artillery M12. And so we'll come back to it after I have requisitioned enough. Uh, uh, I think this 155 mil, as you can see, does a pretty good job against infantry. So, And of course the artillery is not really that effective against armor as I have to remind myself 
constantly. M15A1. Yeah, yeah. I think I heard from the comment section that there will be more you know, German fighters in the air, so I bring in one more to uh, supplement one more group. Uh, the infantry. Wow, okay. So I upgrade this guy to engineer. And I have to check whether they are supplemented with truck or M3A1. I think this one's a truck. Yep, so this guy also engineer. Alright, so I think I have one regular, right? Or is it all engineer now? Okay, so it's all engineer. So yeah, good. Very useful. A20. Well, I have no complaint about its destructive potential that it brings. P38L. Yeah, after one mission with P38, I upgrade this to uh, 51D. Although I do have a fondness for this particular plane design, it seems that I need to just you know prepare all my army to be uh, as best as possible. And this uh, plane is going to be uh, yeah, upgraded. I think four bombers is good enough. Although I want to upgrade these guys to, you know, better bombers. But 432, uh, I think it's a bit too steep. Uh, given the difference between this and this. It does have a better defensive capabilities and uh, it might be able to survive, I guess, at least a couple of strafings from the German fighters. But maybe uh, these guys have enough experience to cover the kind of potential losses. Alright, so let's require some units. Thinking about acquiring this guy. I just require one more of this. This guy might be useful, but you have to actually go up to the enemy in order to make any kind of difference. Each gun range is only one, so yeah. I think I just bring one more of this guy and I bring in. Yeah, I bring in one more M12. Alright, so we are at 490 and this will be enough for us to upgrade over strength our tanks. So forget about bringing or upgrading the bombers. Although I'd love to bring in another bomber fighter. Um, yeah, I just have to over strengthen these guys. All of them. And the rest of it, I guess, goes to the infantry. Yeah, the recon also... I have two recons, so I think it'll be fine. I believe that the Nong Si fight is going to be involving historically similar two groups, like CCA and CCB, so and one recon per each group will be, I think, pretty decent. Uh, I guess I just overstrengthen one unit, maybe? I don't know. Should I? Alright, I do it. Doesn't cost that much. Alright, so 18 prestige from 2400. Yeah basically uh, spent all my prestige. I mean, there was no saving of prestige like in a certain fact. I mean, spending all this prestige might be a bit, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like I'm being prepared. I'm just living by the moment or living by the mission, not really preparing for the future. But I mean, this served us pretty well until now. So yeah, if I have any trouble in Nongsi, maybe I just bring in more heavy hitters, more specialized. Um, such as more bombers than um, yeah, trying to just spread it thin across the army or across the core. Alright, so we are ready to go into... Um, okay. Oh, okay, so this is our core instead of Nangsi. Okay, so the city in this mission that is, I guess, highlighted as being the you know important objective is Nangsi, but our core is another one. I think this is where one of the biggest tank battles in the Western Front was waged. Right after the United States had entered into Nongsi and captured it, the Germans uh, brought their heavy heavy tanks uh, into the foreign counterattack and tried to disable or stop the Patton's charge across the Rhine. And they're probably very worried that he's just going to use the momentum into, you know, entering the German uh, land, you know, Germany proper, uh, is crossing the Rhine while they had not enough time or resources to shore up the defenses there, the Siegfried Line as it was and I think the Germans are trying to use all their armored resources probably they scrapped together from France or now 
you know, being reinforced by new tanks in order to stop the charge that has been very worrying, of course, for the German high command. So, so it's September 8th, 1944. The weather is fortunately fair, so the bombers will have a pretty good time. Okay. All right, so let's check out the surroundings. All right, so we have we have Nancy here, which is a pretty big town, as you can see with this cathedral and everything. And uh, all right, yeah. So we can see that from the start, the deployment kind of reflects the two combat commands that encircle the city. So let's check out the strategic map. So, wow, we have a lot of things to capture. All right. This is our core, so this is going to be where the action is going to happen. Unfortunately, I don't see any bocage around. It's all clear terrain, so yeah, this is going to be a yeah, hog heaven for the armor, both for the Americans and Germans. Moselle River, yeah, this is the river that they have to cross. And this is Nancy, the first objective that we have to take uh, without question. And then I think I just use. Uh, the group south, I think it's CCB, to drive into Runeville and maybe go into the canal, the Moselle Rhin. And uh, yes, okay. So all these objectives provide a pretty stiff challenge. Chateau Salang uh, is, I think I heard that this is a railroad depot of the Lorraine region. So it's a very important objective, strategic objective. And this is going to be CCA, of course, and uh, yeah, it's going to lead the first charge. I'm kind of debating whether I need to... Yeah, I think CCA and CCB should be concentrating on Nancy first and foremost, where the artilleries are going to place is going to pepper and try to scuttle ahead and see whether they have any army around. Uh, same here. So let's do that. Okay, so the recon. Where is the recon? The recon is going to be... Yeah, alright, let's place recon here or here. Let's see if there's any defenses nearby and then I think you can definitely drive back because it's open country. Yeah, it's very very nice to be finally... be rid of the Bokaj country. I mean, no offense to the, you know, the region, the north the northern France region, but it's just a crazy amount of obstacles and difficulties that uh, faced the army and then the troops there in trying to liberate France. And now they are finally able to use all the potential of their mobile force. Oh, okay, so I have a little bit of a sliver of deployment here, just going straight into Nancy. This could be pretty interesting for um, the Jumbo Sherman that I talked about, the one that can bust uh, fortresses and you know pillboxes and whatever what have you but yeah right now I'm concentrated on deployment of tanks okay so let's see the arteries can they ever reach the other side of the Moselle I don't think so but I deploy at least one here yeah I don't think they can actually cross the I deploy one here and the infantry will just provide some cover and 155 mil can wait. This guy will gonna protect the armor column. Yeah, this guy will join us. N26 will Yeah, N26 will be part of the group north or uh, CCA. You know it's a shorthand for combat command day, but I don't know whether they actually call this CCA. Uh, tank destroyer. Uh, okay. Let's just think how to deploy the southern forces. The southern forces will have its share of experienced panzer and then try to capture Nancy. And of course M29 is going to be coming along as the, the other tanks do the brunt of the work and this guy will just come up behind and blast the remaining remnant. Okay, so three tanks. I'm sure that there will be some enemies nearby. I'm kind of worried that they just rush toward us, so some of them has to stay here. I think the infantry or yeah, the recon will just see what is going on here and maybe drive up north uh, in trying to uh, further scout ahead across the river. And of course, the artillery is going to be yeah driving up toward Nancy as fast as possible. 
Oh, I didn't bring an extra anti-air. Wow, okay. I need to uh, be mindful of that. So M26 will head this way, a very important. Uh, well, M26 can actually be deployed a bit closer because it's slower. Uh, here, I think. That'd be better, yes. Uh, this southern region, let's check. The south is where... Okay, so this is where the road is. This is part of my initial plan, so yeah, okay. I bring the tanks here then. Yeah. Oh, not you. Yeah, these guys will come across from the south. And this guy will initially block any kind of attempt to cross here. And the artillery might be able to cover it. The mobile artillery is going to be here as well. Alright, so that's combat group, combat command B. One Sherman is going to help the artillery get their emplacement set up with the rest of the infantry here I'm driving up through two bridges. One tank destroyer, I think I have enough tanks here already, so the remaining tank destroyer is going to join these guys. Who should I give this to? The anti air. Uh, I think the anti-air is going to be more useful in the north. Where is the enemy airfield? Alright, so this is all the smaller towns. Okay, so enemy airfield is right here. Wow, okay, it's really close. So that's all there is to it. Oh, there's one airfield here too, so... It's really strategically placed to cover the entire map. Unfortunately, so yeah, I just give the anti air to these guys. I don't know, just on a whim. And the infantry, yes. Okay, I think I, yeah, there is another airfield. So, two airfield apiece. And we are done. Uh, wow, okay, so you can see that immediate force poised to attack us, attack our flank as we head down toward Nangsi. So, I maybe have to. Okay, so they have anti-tank. Very impressive too, 23 and 13, and it has a huge amount of experience. I need to be very careful, even though it's 25, half strength. I don't see anything in the south. I don't see anything in the south so far, so that's good. Alright, so... Um, okay, so I haven't seen anything here yet. Should I let them come in the first turn? How many turns do I have? Oh, only 9 turns. Okay, so I need to make a move. Alright, let's just move it down here. Away from this anti-tank. Wow, this is like 88 mil, but the anti-tank version. Alright, okay. Artillery check. So I don't see anything down there as well, so okay. The infantry can capture this. Uh, I'd like to leave at least a few tanks or something in order to guard any kind of a movement from down sea. Okay, so this is M36. It's pretty promising. Yeah, these guys we all have to... Uh, the forest, okay. Uh, is there any... Yeah, I think there will be some defenses or defenders in Syria. Okay, so I want to damage this guy though. Alright, even more units. Goodness. I don't see any units down there. Okay, so maybe I can make a beeline for that. Yeah, four. Yeah, very substantial distance it can cover. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about, you know, the artillery in Nangsi. I think there should be a, an artillery. So the infantry will just be better served in trying to uh, stabilize the bridge here. Yeah. And yeah, these guys may have to... Can the Panzer like go around? I'm kind of not really feeling the line that we have set up here. It doesn't seem that uh, great. So I just provide a bit of a line here. 
thank goodness for the recon tank and I place my guy here. It's out of reach, right? Out of reach of the... No, I think it's within reach. Okay, so... Uh, I'd like to target this in the next turn. What can I do? The 8 inch can provide a pretty good coverage. And this guy can maybe provide, yeah, defenses here. And uh, anti air is going to. Right. Um, oh man, okay. I think I have placed this artillery in the wrong spot. I think the Panzer can actually drive up and shoot at this guy with his two range gun. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, it's going to be pretty bad uh, if I actually do that. So I just stay here. I think that guy will be pretty bad off. I don't see any flak, so maybe I can just use the bombers to actually make some... I guess make up for the mistake I made. Or maybe even... Okay, so you can see no flak. Thank goodness. Alright, so good. 3 and 2. Okay, I'm not afraid of the tank anymore. I might be afraid of the of the, the loft buff I might catch these bombers off guard so I guess I need to do whatever I can and try to provide some measure of defense right right pretty good yeah now can I uh, attack I can maybe yeah it's not really worth the risk well, I can overrun it, maybe, and then come back, right? Oh, no, I cannot come back. Okay, that sucks. Well, let's make it count, then. <laughs> Very impressive. Um, that upgraded tank definitely does wonders. But now I can move my anti-air. And maybe, yeah, these guys can support my party here as I... I'm diverted from my initial plan of trying to capture Nang Si from north. Maybe after I capture this, I come back. Or from this point, I just go and rush toward Chateau Salang. While these guys will just try their best with the bomber's help. Trying to capture Nang Si. So let's go there. Okay, so do I have any... No defenders. Wow. Let's try to see. I think my infantry can cover these guys, right? Yeah, infantry can see what is happening. So it's... Let me see. Uh, Alright, so this is not really a good way of doing things. My recon can probably see what's happening here. Alright, so we have an artillery of course. Uh, wow, this guy is gonna get it. Unless my bomber can help. And this is so good. So much a luxury to have bombers around to see if I can weather the defense a bit before actually charging in. And wow, yeah, no flak, nothing. Only a uh, Volstrom. It's not really that impressive, their defense setup here. Volstroms are, they were sourced from or recruited from the, you know, I guess, younger age or even older gentlemen who have no business of actually carrying a gun to the battle. But, you know, they were recruited to, you know, pad the numbers, so to speak. They were armed with Panzer Shrek, I believe. They were particularly trained for that purpose of disabling armor as best as possible so that's why they are pretty effective against ground uh, hard targets although not really that effective but compared to like garrison for example okay so um yeah all right not there i need to use the bombers to get these guys off one six wow wow that is effective. Okay, so the infantry can, yeah, the infantry can just stay out of the range or something. The artillery will. Okay, so yeah, the engineer has to guard away to the artillery 
yeah, it would be pretty painful, but has no defense, no experience at all. So I'm kind of lucky because yeah, this guy should surely be targeted by the artillery, but this guy doesn't have any experience, surprisingly. They have no experience at all. They're like new green troops. Surprising. All right. So let's try to guard our rear or see if I can actually... No, I don't want to expose myself too much, but there might be some artillery here nearby. So I just try to provide any, some kind of a zone of control here. Here, this is just purely tank advance. I'm not really feeling it, but at least I can capture this first. Wow, all right. I think I needed some more infantry, but yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, purely defensive. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this guy can only two, two hex range. So I just form a formation here. M29 is going to bring up the rear. Alright, so tank based armor push toward Lunaville and maybe able to link up with the, these guys after they have captured Nancy and he's going to drive along the road. Yeah, Canal Moselle Rin. So that's my plan. I have a pretty good feeling about it, but anything can change, of course, because uh, yeah, our core was the site of one of the biggest tank battles on the Western Front, as I uh, said before. So yeah, you can never expect what kind of panzers the Germans are going to bring. Uh, all right, so let's end the turn. Nine turns. They're running. Wow, this. I don't know what they're trying to attack, but yes, this guy got it. And an ominous pause there for a second. Yeah, there was actually a pause there. I mean, I uh, really do use a lot of editing to make my playing a bit bearable. Yeah, but it's actually an AI is just thinking about what to do next. All right, so this guy, I don't know why he's trying to charge toward this. Maybe trying to uh, surprise us, but yeah. And this recon is already there. So I target... Let's see if I can target this guy. Wow, yeah, it has a tremendous amount of range. Yeah, let's target this guy then. Alright, so that was a pretty... Uh, rather disappointing. Got the defender here. Capture one more point. Good. And maybe I can overrun this guy. I can't. Is it being supported somewhere in the back? Maybe. Alright, let's just... Yeah, let's just finish this guy off. Alright, more experience for me. Although I do feel that sometimes I need to use a different tank in order to make sure that you know the experience goes to uh, the most amount of units instead of using the best units again and again. Alright, so my infantry will capture at this point maybe in the next turn or the tank can even capture it but I don't really feel safe with the tank in the city or village. All right, maybe I can just aim at this guy. Lower the entrenchment somewhat. Also using this guy. And then maybe try to inflict maximum amount of damage. I can. Oh, okay, I lost out there. Okay, so there goes my perfect game where I would lose any of the unit. Even the strength of a unit. Yeah, I mean, that was a tall order, but... Sometimes I wonder if that is ever possible. If someone knows the map such as this, like on the back of their hand or the palm of their hand, they can probably buy for some perfect runs where they don't lose any strength of the troops. Yeah, that would be impossible. You should stay right there. Uh, right there. 
maybe. And then this guy can come down and... Oh, okay, I can capture the city. Now for now, this guy will just try to provide a flank for this anti-air. This guy will come up and try to finish up the infantry if it doesn't run away. Here. Am I being a bit too deliberate? Uh, maybe I, my playstyle is now being affected by uh, my UK run at Khan. Not very fun, but kind of rewarding, you know, still. Very rewarding still. Yeah. I mean, this guy didn't even fire a shot before mounting, which is a bit of a shame because... Um, wow, alright, so... Forgot to uh, measure the distances that I needed, which is a wasted turn for my artillery. Pretty bad. Alright, gain a leader, somebody. Somebody. Anybody. Maybe I'm expecting a bit too much from the bombers. How much entrenchment do they have? Three, okay. I think engineer can handle it. I think. Yeah, one is six, yeah, I can handle it. Wow, okay, so that's surprising, but 27, even better. That is impressive, overstrength and engineer really work hard there. And I captured the city, Nangsi. Thank you very much. And let's see what is happening here. Alright, nothing's happening, so I can probably attack this guy to further the damage. So I captured Nongsi in second turn, so this is pretty quick mission. Yeah, alright. Alright, uh, okay, so this is a bomber that haven't moved yet after shooting. Good. Alright, so I think the recon could have come down and try to catch up with these guys now, trying to uh, go toward Lunenville. Okay, I'm worried. Oh, found the uh, PSW. Alright, found PSW here. Okay, no. Oh yeah, this is this is slow. This is slow. Okay, I'm really I think these guys will definitely be attacked by the planes. Uh I hope they don't have any Stukas around. This guys, well, I just this recon will just keep watch, I guess. It's trying to block up the road, their escape path, or I don't know. They probably had to escape through here, but they don't control kind of block, so they are kind of in a very bad situation. Uh, this recon tank, all right, so we can actually link up with the guys and now see. Uh, I think the recon tank will just, yeah. Uh, I think he's going to just keep watch here, maybe. Yeah, right here. Okay, so second turn, also very fruitful. Fetcher Nancy. And ready to go to Runeville. Okay, now finally. Uh oh. Wow, I didn't attack my bombers. That's very surprising. Rugged defense, yeah, I mean, you made a bad decision. Surprising, yeah. So we have two ME... What is this plane? Two ME 109Ks. Okay, so the same plane as the ones that roam the skies over Khan. Alright, I think I didn't deploy my... Yeah, I didn't deploy... It. Jesus. Yeah, I should have known really <laughs> better. Alright, let's see if how this P-51 can stack up against M09. Pretty well, no, not really. Yeah, it's kind of green. Yeah, it's, all of them are green. But, uh... alright, I won out. That's good. Alright, wasn't able to destroy, but kind of got them in a bind. I guess that's good. 
Alright. Yeah. Can't waste more time with you. Just overrun. Okay, good. So this tank is the upgraded one. So yeah, we take the charge. And where should I go now? Oh, okay. So toward Chateau Salin. All right. So my recon has to be there. So this guy will. Um, first of all, this anti-tank is going to have a look see. A bit farther. Um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty long drive. Let's see. Uh, what can I do? This guy will have to all drive now. Yeah, I want to approach Chateau Salang in an organized fashion, I just don't want to go by piecemeal. It's going to be just easy pickings for the German defenses if they have set up any. Yeah, alright. So these guys will open the path for some overrun action by this tank. Alright. Okay, good. So everything is open. Nangsi. Uh, oh, okay, I forgot about this dude. Okay, so I thought this guy was one of our guys. Alright, so the bomber, work your magic. Alright. Can still open up the road. Yeah, these guys are pretty uh, tough. I think these are the pioneers, yeah, the engineers, of course, figures. Alright, so finally Nancy is stabilized, so we are now free to move and link up with these guys, or in the south. Uh, I think I will split these forces once again. Um, although it's not going to be a good decision. Uh, five and two, yeah, it's not going to work out, huh? Alright, so let's see if I can bring in one more anti-air, just like I said I would, but forgot. Let's see how, where we can deploy this guy. Okay, so it's a bit far. So it's going to be useful, uh, in a turn or two. And, uh, oh wow, okay, so I ca couldn't cancel out of this movement. I thought that I could just go up north and finish this guy up, but not to be. Another mistake. Not good. Yeah, this guy will now head toward the south. Oh, okay. Now I have seen you, uh, Volkström. Mr. Volkström. Okay, so the infantry can now take over and try to capture this. This guy can see pretty far, so yeah, it's clear. And any other 155 mil, okay. Maybe I just bring this guy here now. Yeah, definitely more useful here. Alright, so what to do with the bombers? This guy can still shoot, surprisingly enough. I don't want to stray too far ahead. Uh, yeah, worried about the, the enemies in the air. Yeah, okay, so I just park this guy here then. Oh boy, okay. So let's see if I can make most of this encounter. Yep, I did. And... Wow, alright. Kind of wondering what's down in the south, so let's see what is going on. Nothing much. Alright, let's keep shooting then. Maybe the German armor will be coming as a reinforcement from the east? I haven't seen a lot of German armor yet, although I have crossed pretty far into the territory here. Maybe it like all concentrated here or something. And they make a move next turn, just like the enemy 
Luftwaffe did this turn. Uh, I need to, yeah. Oh boy, I'm just a bit too worried about everything. I don't really see anything here, so I mean, I wish I could have like Overwatch, Overwatch anti-tank or artillery. All right, so this guy doesn't want to go too far ahead, burning fuel in the process. So I just stay back. Okay, seven turns left. All right, what? Oh, out of the sun, huh? All right, that's good. Very lucky for us. And I saw uh, a tank or something moving just now. Uh, I wonder what that was. Maybe a panther? Oh, Stug or Hetzer. 15 and 6 and anti-tank. Yeah, I haven't seen this even on my uh, German playthrough. That's weird. Well, I mean, Hester is going to get some loving from this, this armor. Alright, let's uh, give this guy a try. Yeah, definitely. Maybe use overstrengthened tank. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Wow. I mean, that M12 really did the numbers on these defenders. No entrenchment or something. No effect from the entrenchment. Alright, now I can have a better... That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, sent running. Okay, now the worst strengthened tank can do its stuff. I don't want to uh, go into the city, but... I have all this tank to defend the area. So I have no worry as I would have had beforehand. Alright, so the tank is all ready. Looks really good. Didn't expect things to go in that direction, but... Yeah, no complaints there, and Recon can finally link up. And see what's up there. Oh, okay, now we are seeing some defenses near airfield because in the past few missions I didn't haven't seen any well I have seen a uh, airfield that can't be defended so that's that but they don't put any kind of flag near airfield just like the Soviets and the allies did uh, when I was playing as the Germans and this guy can you reach the nope they can't all right just go into the city or something yeah so the link up has been successful. I'm very happy with that. Uh, of course, these arteries are left open there. Left out in the cold there, so I need to follow up quickly with the anti air, but it's gonna take a couple more turns of very burnable positions for this artillery. You can probably uh, support it with an infantry. Um, should I send one more infantry toward the east? For the chateau, uh, I guess I just bring the the Sherman through the city. Yeah, going through the city does take a lot of movement points away from it. Uh, so that's that's that. Yeah, surprisingly enough, wow. Yeah, this bomber really did uh, its work on this uh, poor ME. Wow, out of the sun. Haven't really expected that to happen. And I'm not going to finish it. That is a uh, I right, take all the advantage I can get. All right, let's just spread out the point experience. Nice. Yeah, don't want to sacrifice too much of one plane. So, wow. Yeah, I'm really lucky here that I was able to finish off like ME on nine Ks in two turns. I thought going to harass our bombers much more. Yeah, I mean these guys are all now gone. Maybe this is all they be able to. Uh, Muster in terms of their air power. Uh, I can bring. Okay, so let's see the range on this guy. I don't see any flak in the airfield, so let's see if I can reach the. Yeah, I can reach the airfield. Um, kind of worried about the. Of course, always worrying. Um, okay, so the recon has finally caught up, but it's not going to be any help that much. Um, Yeah. 
be very careful because there'll be artilleries and panzers around so This guy doesn't have any truck. It does have truck, but it's kind of running out of fuel. 56, so this guy can still burn some rubber. Uh, yeah, let's see what they have down there. Oh, okay, so it's out of... Uh... Yeah, alright, so I can at least support this bomber as i going to revert to Scott mode and see what they have here. No, nothing. That's surprising. The Germans are keeping a short leash, I guess, on their defenders uh, so I can actually capture this wow yeah and this guy maybe okay let's just try to follow this guy then 11 so it just is 11 strength bomber so uh, yeah the airfield is a bit okay let's just scout ahead and see um, I don't want to go too close to the airfield because there might be some planes still around, I don't know. This doesn't seem right. Alright, so this guy can see two, so I don't see anything. Good. Maybe I can attack the artillery after all. Uh, yeah, okay, alright. Nine and one. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Okay, so two bombers down there and two bombers... Uh, I want to scull ahead, but there might be some flags, of course, so... Yeah, let's just go into the protective care of this interceptor. Although it isn't much. You need to stay. Alright, only six turns left. I don't know what's going to happen. We haven't seen the last of the panzers. I haven't really seen even a single panzer, except for the first one. Wow, it's empty! That's very interesting. Why is it empty? Oh my goodness, what are the Germans planning? Oh man, it's pretty worrying here. Holy crap. What are they planning for us? Did, did they just run away because of our bombers or something? Can't be true. Oh, okay, so finally we have a defender setting. Holy crap, I was being worried there for a second. Alright, so now this infantry can maybe just support the flank here. Okay, good, good. So it all works out. Alright, the bombers can destroy the defenders. Nice. Very good. And here as well. Wow. Yeah, the bombers are just... Just one click destruction option. Very nice to have. Uh, this guy, yeah, I have to just see what's up there. Yeah, capture the airfield so this guy can get. Yeah, just in time. Just in time to get extra ammo, extra shells or bombs. So it's good. All right, so this recon now has to has to go and see. Okay, all right. So what is this? Panther G. All right, finally we have a sighting of Panther with two experience. Oh boy. Okay, so this is the the battle that everyone's waiting for. Yeah, I'm just going to park my tanks in a formation. Going to just going to uh, try to use a pincer movement here with the bomber's help. Uh, it's going to uh, dent the initial strength of the panther. I hope there's no flak nearby, but one in four, yeah, no flak. 24, not bad. Yeah, so we are going to face some uh, damaged panther, which is all good. All right. Okay, so yeah, just need to follow this guy. No need to be so rash. We finally have found our target. Uh, maybe stay a bit close. Yeah, all right. So 
So the bombers have made its entrance upon the German defenses, and we have three more, four more, five more uh, points to capture, which is uh, a bit worrying now. Uh, the prospect for our ultimate brilliant victories, uh, and there's actually a road that connects from the behind, so. Yeah, it might be a bit congested here. Uh, it might be better for us to actually drive um, just across the south. Yeah, I didn't really plan well there, did I? Yeah, this guy can follow up. And this guy will yeah just drive for the target. Eight strength. Tell you what, I just try to finish this guy off and then the Shermans will, with the bomber's help, we try to capture the guard, La Guard. Uh, Shermans that I have right here. This guy can get filled up. Yeah, actually, I damage it. Nice. Alright, one and one. Oh, okay, so it's been, wow, zero out of each defensive position. The suppression is pretty strong. Alright, so can I finish this guy off, really? Can okay, still damage it though. Nice! Wow, I was able to finish it off. Wow, okay. Very good. Very nice. Maybe I can uh, make further advance into the German territory and scout ahead. Not much of a scout, but... I can still reveal some hexes. I could have just gone down to Lagarde, but... This guy will uh, just stay there, stay behind here. Alright, five turns? Okay. I don't know if I can actually finish this in brilliant fashion. Alright, now finally they attack. Six, not good. Yeah, finally they attack. Yeah, this guy doesn't even have ammo. Alright, so you go come back. Lucky that the damage wasn't any worse, but yeah, it was definitely to upgrade them, I guess, in the next mission. Three and two. Yeah, alright, they'll be ready. This guy will capture the first point, and let's see if I can, you know, impersonate a bit of their Blitzkrieg ourselves. Alright. The recon of CCA now is going to see what's up here. Alright, so they don't have anything. Wow, surprising. Yeah, capture the point and we're going to uh, split our forces. These guys will go north. And these guys will go south. Uh, right. Yeah, just go through here. Go through the... Go through the crops, I guess, that the French have so painstakingly have grown. But now it's being just trampled by the M26s and whatnot. It's not really good. Trying to find shortcuts here. And, uh, of course, there is uh, ME109K hanging around, so we need to take care of that too. A lot of work for us. Three and two, all right. Three and three, wow, they're pretty hardy. Oh, I need to bring in uh, third, yeah, wow. Finally. Yeah, but this trio of 50 ones were able to do it, but I mean, 109k, wow, I have, I mean, it was an occasion for me to re-evaluate each performance. I mean, it was impressive. I mean, against the Mustangs, he was able to more than handle it on equal terms. Very impressive. Oh wow, alright, so another after ace, let's see. Oststein. Ost means east. So East Stein. He's come from uh, east and he's a street fighter, so don't ever try to mess him up in the cities, that is. Well, I do have a welcome party that I have been 
itching to use. All right, let's see. One in six. Wow. Wow, my goodness. And a leader has been born once again. Yes, this is how leaders are born, I guess, attacking other leaders to a tune of eight. Fenton. And his skilled ground attack. Wow, I mean, this guy will definitely be a mainstay of our bomber force. That's very, very good news, folks. Very good news. Uh, this guy will just take it. Yeah, I mean, 29 is a bit too slow, even on open road. I probably will uh, replace it. The next mission. If there's an M26 available, then I uh, replace it. Okay, can I just go up? Yeah, and then... Okay, I cannot do it, but... Let's try to attack it from a different angle. No, I cannot do it still. Alright, but... I can still damage it. Oh, that's why. Nice! This is just... Maybe I'll be able to achieve brilliant victory after all. Alright. Okay, let's just try to attack them without mercy. And build their artillery positions, so it's all good. Another plane to use. Man, we are just rolling right now. Very happy that we were able to take care of the... The Panther Ace. Very good showing for us. Alright, you capture this point. I don't think they have any kind of artillery that is going to reach us there. There was an ME 109K, yeah, so that's not the land of the of buff. We are really worried about the, you know, them appearing once again and trying to gun for one of our bombers or uh, Mustangs. The Mustangs have served us very well indeed. I just keep one here, on the air here, just to get them protected. Uh, yeah. So these guys are all for taking. Germans have really not prepared the defenses well. Just totally opposite from what I encountered at Khan. And I'm not so sure about the UK version of this mission, but... I mean, there are only two Panthers so far. And if I purchase like three more Fireflies, maybe I'll be able to uh, make it work. Hopefully. Okay, so the bombers will uh, work still in trying to get the defenses down at the final objectives. Uh, the weather has been very good so far, but you can never expect the weather to continue its uh, sunny streak. So I just have to bring in all the artillery and yeah, make sure the engineer protects the spot. Uh, just try to put up a rugged defense against any kind of uh, intruders. Alright, so this guy maybe can join that uh, engineer near the... is it? Luneville. Alright, so let's see the map. Wow, okay, so that was a pretty torrential turn there. We were able to capture like two or three objectives. He's on the verge of capturing another one. These are all empty. I think this is empty too. I checked uh, before with the tank. And yeah, we have only Dews to uh, take care of. I think Dew means maybe God or something, but I don't know whether that has to do with the name. But yeah, let's see if I can make it. So three turns left. Right, and there's no, not a peep from the Germans. Very strange. This is like a... Maybe this is actually historically accurate that they weren't able to you know, put up much of a fight like they did at Khan, but yeah, this is just too... Uh, probably uh, find very staunch defense right here they're like purchasing units every turn uh, maybe like filled with 10 infantry right so this guy can now bring the big guns here good okay very happy about the leader um, yeah very much so Right, okay, so can I attack this guy as well? 1 and 6, not bad. 5 and 4. And it was like... How much entrenchment was it? Like 5. Okay, so... Don't see any artillery. Uh, how about you kept... No, you just drive toward there. And I just see what is happening here. 
Oh, okay, well met, infantry. Oh, well met, infantry killer, the artillery. Nice. This guy has been a death of artillery since like last mission. I don't know what it is, but yeah, he was able to just kill artillery left and right. Very impressive. But he was also able to um, see watch up on the vicinity of the use. Oh, another tank. Okay, finally. Alright, so they brought... They have one Panzer remaining and uh, I think there's extra bomber that I can use if there's no flak there. Let's check. I don't see any flak, but yeah, you can never be too careful. So I just park this guy here and destroy the artillery. Yeah, good. And yeah, it's all half strength too, so yeah, they're not going to... I don't think it'll be a threat for us. For the M4s and stuff like that. Yeah. In the best case scenario, it's going to damage us for like 2 or 3. So, um, I mean, it's probably out of the realm of the random number generator too. I mean, I don't think you'll be able to just outright suppress this guy into retreating. Okay, so this guy has shot its load. Um, I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't really say that. Let's prepare for the final barrage. Okay, so I just bring this guy back. Okay, so let's see how long this guy can fly. Uh, yeah, just outskirts. Okay. So I just bring this guy here in transit and bring this guy back, but it's going to just park right here on the edge. So you'll be able to attack in the next turn. Alright, so M29, yeah. It's going to lumber across the open field, going across. Yeah, this guy is all just move up. Yeah. This has been a yeah pretty quick and interesting mission. I was expecting a lot more from the, I think it was 5th Panzer Army, but yeah. Alright. Nice. Man, that... Sherman really does suppress a lot of the like a lot of entrenched units. Oh, I didn't forget anybody. Yeah, I still have to move units. All right, so let's capture. No, let's just rush toward the last few, last few points. This guy. Yeah, we capture here. And. Uh, so next turn, we're going to capture Lagarde and Bordonnais, and maybe uh, buy really strongly against the Us. Surprising that I know all the town's name, but probably uh, all wrong pronunciation. Okay, alright, so i just bring up these guys. I think all the ME109K has been expanded, so there were three planes around. Yeah, remind myself to prepare for that when I'm playing the UK this guy all right so okay so I have no problems with that yeah no problems with that at all we get entrenched there uh, yeah I don't think I need you anymore just yeah let's be there two more turns left right yeah Alright, so only two. I was uh, pretty accurate in, you know, saying that I don't expect anything more than two. And uh, yeah, he damaged us for two. Five and six. Whoa. Keep attacking. Alright, good. Alright. Let's check what's up there. For sure this time. Yeah, it seems to be running away. At least it gives an impression that it's 
had enough of the the bombers that the Americans had brought. Yeah, I really don't care about the the Panzer right now. I just just want to dislodge this guy and then be done with it. Yeah. And as far as this archer is concerned, after the first few barrages that he was able to do against Nancy and the H defenders, he was kind of left out in the cold. Maybe because my mismanagement didn't calculate the, the range of the guns correctly in the first turn. So maybe it's high time for them to be upgraded to 8 inch as well if I get a pretty good amount of prestige. 1 and 4? Yeah, I can live with that. To 1 and 6 though. Wow. Alright, so let's use this guy maybe to pay back for the damage that caused. Maybe this guy can help. Alright, maybe gain more experience that way. Alright, so I have a one more unit or something left, right? Yeah. Just keep this guy uh, as we capture all the points. Because if I destroy everything on the map, then it's going to be game over. Oh, this guy ran out. Yeah, and uh, M29, even though it's really impressive, it was able to do nothing at all. Wow. So yeah, it's like a King Tiger. Very, very powerful, but very slow, even on open field. After using it, definitely have a feel for it, and yeah, maybe I'm going to assign it to, uh, I don't know, Patton or some other general tech and make better use of it. Alright. Okay, so capture all these points. Alright. Let's check out the strategic map. So only one left, but maybe I can buy for it as well. Alright, let's try. Do I need a bomber there? I don't need any bomber. Let's see. So my uh, greediness kind of taking over, but yeah, I can capture it. Good. Oh man, I'm just sweeping them away. Alright, this is the last turn. No, two turns left, okay. But I just end it. I end it. Alright, so this is it. Brilliant victory for us. Very happy that I was able to gain another leader. Was a rather surprised at the lack of Panzer force, although I believe that there are around more than 200 Panzers that are involved in the Battle of Arakor. Uh, although it ended up with the United States uh, US Army uh, being able to defeat a whole lot of them, I think it was able to disable in entirety around 190 to 200 tanks, which is a substantial number considering that they had Panther tanks more than they had Panzer IVs. And the Americans only had, I think, M4 Shermans, Hellcats, and a couple of Stuart tanks that were, I think, the recon tanks, uh, light tanks. It was able to use fog in order to help hide or help guys its defenses. And the uh, Germans, while well, the fog helped them somewhat because it hid them from the eyes of the prying eyes of the United States bombers and Air Force, but it wasn't able to make use of the terrain uh, and didn't really do well in terms of managing the battle on its own terms because the battle was fought relatively open field with the Americans setting out all the defenses and waiting for the Germans under the guise of fog. So the, the German uh, panzers were trapped and was not able to effectively use its guns as well, two range or its uh, very impressive guns on the Panthers uh, which can actually destroy any of the armor that they had at Arakor at around 2000 yards or so. Yeah, it was a really kind of a, in terms of a materials loss, it was a stunning defeat for the Germans because a Panthers, uh, while in a normal operation, is able to handle at least like five Shermans to one. So the ratio is five to one, I heard. Um, Tiger is a bit higher, like 7 to 1, and I heard like something like 10 to 1 on the Eastern Front, so I mean, this was a pretty uh, disappointing result. Uh, I guess they probably thought that they stopped Patton's army, although truthfully, uh, Patton just ran out of fuel and uh, was not able to progress. Yeah, but brilliant victory, so I'm happy that uh, I didn't lose any single unit once again. Even my planes were saved, although we had to have some trouble with the ME109K, which is a uh, yeah, pretty uh, impressive 
pretty impressive fighters, um, to be honest. <laughs> All right, Commander, a job well done. <laughs> the Krauts never knew what hit them. Well, we're really looking good, and thanks to you. Hey, rumor has it the president may want to pin a medal on you himself. Okay, I mean, job well done, definitely. And the president wants to uh, maybe pin a medal on... It's pretty good. I mean, I don't think... Uh, the German side, I don't think they mentioned the uh, Führer uh, doing anything to commemorate the occasion or success of victory, but of course, I mean, kind of goes over the line, I guess, you know, I mean, the Führer, the, uh, even in the context of a game, so weird and stuff like that. Yeah, but the president, I think Roosevelt, maybe, uh, Roosevelt, I think he was almost at the end of his life, so yeah, maybe it's Truman or... Was it Roosevelt or Roosevelt? I don't know, I'm not so sure how they pronounce this. Yeah, English language, you know, uh, it's very hard. So yeah, job well done. Um, although I had some uh, reservations in the you know, front half of the mission, later on after like, finding uh, just scarce defenses, I was able to just go through and uh, carry the momentum to bring in victory. I also was able to remember that killing all Germans would result in uh, automatic victory, so I was able to just make sure they capture all the victory hexes, so all good. Okay, Commander, here's the deal. We've been here for two months now. We've got to push the Krauts out of Metz. Once we've done that, we can smash through the Maginot Line and drive into Germany. I'm counting on you and your men. Good luck. All right, so Metz. I think Metz is also in France. So the progress that we have made still not has carried us into Germany across the Siegfried Line, across the River Rhine. Metz, I think it's also in Lorraine maybe, uh, I'm not so sure, but uh, I think from uh, like medieval times, I heard it was like a big fortress castle or city or something like that so yeah it's probably very uh, formidable that's why we are going through this region in order to get the germans from france once and for all and Metz is where i think they will really try that and uh, still i don't think we have passed into winter of 1944 so still our dance is awaiting us so i don't know what's going to happen uh, whether we're going to be involved in uh, relieving the forces entrenched in Ardennes or uh, what is it, uh, Bastogne or something like that. For now, it's Metz. Metz is, uh, I don't know anything else other than it's in France, northeastern France, and yeah, it's a pretty historic city. Maginot Line, so we are basically going through the Maginot Line, but the, on the other direction. I guess the Germans had enough time to prepare their own defenses using the Maginot Line that they captured, so yeah, that's probably where the problem lies. Alright, let's see if I have obtained another prototype unit. Maybe it become even more prosperous. Wow, M26. Wow, this is pretty interesting. I get another M26. So, I mean, that kind of uh, absolutely clears my reservations about M29. You know, reassigning the M29. So M26 has been very, very good tank for us. And now they give us another one. So, I guess rich gets richer, so to speak. Very impressive. The American production lines are probably turning this off now that I have proved their battle worthiness. Okay, so um, yeah, some more experiences gained by these guys. I have eight tanks now, uh, filled with M26s and uh, veteran M4s. Now probably going to upgrade the rest of them to the what is it, uh, 76s, three D's variants. My artillery also gained a pretty good experience. Yeah, and same goes for anti-tank. Yeah, all in all, a really balanced army. And yeah, gained uh, more experience. Pretty surprisingly, the A20s are getting the experiences instead of A26Bs. Uh, I guess it has been around for a longer time, so it makes sense. And the 51s, definitely after their uh, forays and hard-pitched battle, they have gotten one more experience each, very happy with the where it's going. So yeah, Americans are now ready to smash through whatever the Germans uh, have got for them. I think we are in a pretty good position. And let's check the prestige, 2694, yeah. So Americans are just as ready as they ever be 
in uh, achieving the rest of the objectives in this campaign, I believe. So it's going to be pretty fun. I think I just try to uh, see uh, what kind of options I have. Just concentrate more on the air power and see if I can actually get uh, experimental ones in the later stages of this campaign. It's going to be pretty interesting. Though the outcomes might be a bit, uh, you know, foregone conclusion, but anything can happen. Uh, can make some very stupid mistakes and lose a bomber or something. That's going to put a bit of a wrench into the process. I know what to expect now on the UK side as well and see how General Grey and his forces are able to do. Hopefully that version as well is going to provide us with ample opportunity to bring some new units and experience. Alright, thank you so much for viewing this LP. I hope you enjoyed it and please stay tuned.